So you restored with the bare board, no solder paste. This is the solar screen machine, so obviously in there it's checked up, get it nice and screen. As you can see, it's put solder on the pads, everywhere on the pads where the parts must go. Some parts are big, some are small, so we preheat it to 170 uh, and we hold it there so that everything gets to 170. Then the middle zone, it will just bump it to 230 uh, for about 50 seconds. And then it will cool it down in the last zone and it will pop out there. make them in panels because I, I, I'm touching it once but it's four. So you have to load it once but there's four. So to, to load them one at a time is a pain in the ass. The, the plugs, because they, they must be tough, because you know, you're plugging it in and out all the time, we can't go surface mount because it'll break off. So the, you'll see the plugs, it's through hole. So the two plugs in the capacitor, they'll run it through the, the wave solder similar process and then they will program test and everything so they've got all that set up okay so these are the boards we made so now to go everyone solder by hand it takes forever so what you'll do is so it goes into this train the machine goes i'll fill up everything now so this is a flux it needs to get flux it, it runs through the flux it blows the flux off, it gets preheated, and then this is where the name wave solder comes from. Because it's getting pumped and it looks like a wave. And it will actually run through the wave solder and it will solder the bottom. Okay, so now it's putting flux. The solder needs flux just so the solder runs easily. So there it runs through the flux piece, goes over the hot plate, it's to feed.
So then it's unsoldered, so you can see the fat, everything's open there. And then you can see perfectly soldered. It's getting simulated by a real live trigger wheel. So every single one passes through here first. So there we see these injectors, we see these injections, the scope tells us. So four cylinder engine, it's got all the trigger setups from standard distributor to 60 minus 2 wall. So obviously now we are running 60 minus 2. Every single box made, repaired, starts one of these engines. Also the box, this engine is wired 60 minus 2 and 36 minus 1. So, pinky assembles them. Uh, just before the top covers, we checked that the map sensor part is on. And from there, it's, it's done. When this is gets extruded, we don't drill and tap every hole because there's, mm. you know, yeah. it will take. So, that size is almost perfect. So, pinky will clean it with a drill and just put some copper slip there. So, when you turn the screw in, it doesn't seize up. So the ECU comes with the complete wiring harness with the fuel pump relay, a little paper for the software, all the software everything can be found on our website or on our Facebook page and then just the basic wiring diagram, the plug layout of the harness and then just the basic wiring diagram. <laughs> 